First question. ABC is a right triangle. AB equal to BC equal to 3 cm. What is the measure of angle A? What is the length of AC? Given that ABC is a right angle triangle, also given that AB and BC are equal, therefore it is an isosceles right angle triangle. Hence the remaining two angles are equal and they are equal to 45 degree. Therefore angle A equal to 45 degree. Now we have to find the length of AC. Since it is an isosceles right angle triangle, the ratio of the sides is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. The two sides are 3. Therefore the third side is 3 root 2. That is AC equal to 3 root 2 centimeter. Second question. Even natural numbers below 9 are written in separate paper slips and put in a box. How many paper slips are there in the box? When a slip is taken from the box, what is the probability of getting a prime number? Which are the even numbers below 9? 2, 4, 6, 8. Therefore, there are 4 even numbers below 9 and hence there are 4 paper slips in the box. Now we have to find the probability of getting a prime number. There is one and only one prime number which is even and that is 2. So he will get a prime number only when he take 2. Therefore probability of getting a prime number is 1 by 4. Third question. Four statements are given below. Two of them are true. Which are they? First one, 0, 5 is a point on the x-axis. 0, 5 is a point on the y-axis. Distance from 0 to 5 to the x-axis is 5. Distance from 0 to 5 to the y-axis is 5. We have to find two correct statements. Let us look at the point 0, 5. The x-coordinate is 0 and therefore it is on the y-axis. So the second statement is correct. 0, 5 is a point on the y-axis. Now since it is on the y-axis, the distance from y-axis is 0 and distance from x-axis is 5. So the third statement, distance from 0 to 5 to the x-axis is 5 is also correct. Fourth question. Sum of the first n odd numbers is 625. What number is n? We know sum of first n odd numbers is n square. Therefore, we can write n square equal to 625. Then n equal to root of 625 and that is equal to 25. That means sum of first 25 odd numbers is 625. Fifth question. In the triangle ABC, angle B equal to 90 degree, AC equal to 5 cm, sin C equal to 4 by 5. What is the length of AB? Find OC. Given that sin C equal to 4 by 5, that is, when hypotenuse is 5, opposite side is 4. Here the opposite side of angle C is AB, therefore AB equal to 4 cm. Now let us find the third side BC. BC equal to root of AC square minus AB square. That is equal to root of 5 square minus 4 square. 5 square is 25 and 4 square is 16. So it can be written as root of 25 minus 16. And that is equal to root of 9 and that is equal to 3. Therefore, BC equal to 3 cm. Now we have to find OC. OC means adjacent side by hypotenuse. Here the adjacent side of angle C is BC and the hypotenuse is AC. So that is equal to BC by AC or 3 by 5. 
Without drawing coordinate axis, mark the pair of points 3, 5, 7, 8, left, right, top, bottom positions correctly. Two opposite vertices of a rectangle are 3, 5 and 7, 8. Sides of the rectangle are parallel to the coordinate axis. Write the coordinates of the other two vertices. The points are 3, 5 and 7, 8. Let us look at the x coordinates 3 and 7. 3 is less than 7. That means the point 3, 5 is to the left of the point 7, 8. Now look at the y coordinates 5 and 8. 5 is less than 8. Therefore, the point 3, 5 is below the point 7, 8. So, comparing to the point 3, 5, the point 7, 8 is to the right and above it. So, we can mark the point 3, 5 here. Then the point 7, 8 is to the right and above this point. So, it is somewhere here. Now, given that two opposite vertices are 3, 5 and 7, 8. Now, we know the positions of 3, 5 and 7, 8. Let us find out the remaining points. On this line, x coordinate is C. So, the x coordinate of this point is 7. On this line, y coordinate is C. So, the y coordinate of this point is 5. Therefore, the coordinates of this point is 7, 5. The same way, this is a line parallel to y-axis. So, x coordinate is C. So, the x coordinate of this point is 3. This is a line parallel to x-axis. So, y coordinate is C. So, the y coordinate of this point is 8. Therefore, the coordinates of this point is 3, 8. Draw a circle of radius 3 cm. Mark a point at a distance 7 cm from the center. Draw tangents from that point to the circle. First of all, let us draw a circle of radius 3 cm. Now, mark a point 7 cm away from this point. Let it be P. Now we have to draw tangents from P to this circle. Let us first find the midpoint of OP. For that, let us draw the perpendicular bisector. Take more than half of the length of OP and draw arcs on both sides of OP from the point O. Now put the compass at P and taking the same radius, draw arcs on both sides. Mark the points of intersections, join them. We get the perpendicular bisector of OP and this passes through the midpoint of OP. Put the compass at this point and take the distance from that midpoint to O as radius and draw another circle. This circle intersect the first circle at two different points. Join P to these points, we get the required tangents. Eighth question. The lateral face of a square pyramid is given in the figure. What is the length of the base edge? Find the slant height of the pyramid. This is a lateral face. For every lateral face, the two sides are equal, they are lateral edges and the edge at below is the base edge. Therefore, base edge equal to 10 cm. Now, we have to find the slant height of the pyramid. Suppose the slant height is L, lateral edge is E and base edge is A. Then, we know L is equal to root of E square minus A by 2 whole square. Here E is 13 and A is 10. So we can write it as that is equal to root of 13 square minus 5 square. 
13 square is 169 and 5 square is 25. So we can write it as root of 169 minus 25. And that is equal to root of 144 and that is equal to 12. Therefore, the slant height of the pyramid is 12 centimeters. Ninth question. Total surface area of a sphere is 40 square centimeters. The sphere is divided into two hemispheres. What is the area of the plane surface of a hemisphere? What is the total surface area of a hemisphere? What is the ratio between the surface areas of a hemisphere and a sphere having the same radius? Given that surface area of a sphere is 40 square centimeters, we know surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. So we can say 4 pi r square equal to 40. Now we have to find the area of the plane surface of a hemisphere. Plane surface of a hemisphere is a circle and therefore the area is pi r square. Since 4 pi r square is 40, pi r square equal to 10 cm square. Now we have to find the total surface area of a hemisphere. We know the total surface area of a hemisphere is 3 pi r square. Since pi r square is 10, 3 pi r square equal to 30 cm square. Now we have to find the ratio between the surface areas of a hemisphere and a sphere having the same radius. Let the radius be r. Then surface area of hemisphere is 3 pi r square and surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. Therefore the ratio is 3 pi r square is to 4 pi r square. Now pi r square is common cancelling we get the ratio as 3 is to 4. Tenth question. In the figure PA is a tangent. Codes CB and RQ are extended to meet at P. BC equal to 5 cm, PB equal to 4 cm. What is the length of PC? What is PQ into PR? Find the length of PA. Given that BC is 5 and PB equal to 4. PC equal to PB plus BC. That is equal to 4 plus 5 or that is equal to 9. That is PC equal to 9 centimeter. And the second question, what is PQ into PR? From the figure, PQ into PR equal to PA square. Now we have to find the length of PA. From the figure, PC into PB equal to PA square. Now PC is 9 and PB is 4, so we can write it as 9 into 4 equal to PA square. Now to find PA, we have to find the root of 9 into 4. Root of 9 is 3 and root of 4 is 2. So we can write PA as 3 into 2 and that is equal to 6. Therefore the length of PA equal to 6 centimeters. 11th question. Height of a solid metal cone is 12 cm. Its radius is 9 cm. Find the volume of the cone. How many spheres of radius 1 cm can be made by melting and recasting the cone? Here, height of the cone is 12 cm and radius is 9 cm. Volume of the cone equal to 1 by 3 pi r square x. Replacing the values, we can write 1 by 3 pi into 9 square into 12. Now 3 and 12 can be simplified. 1, 3 is 3 and 4, 3 is 12. Now let us multiply. 1 into pi is pi. So we can write it as pi into 9 square into 4. 9 square is 81. 81 into 4 is 324. So the volume of the cone is 324 pi centimeter cube. Now we have to find number of spheres of radius 1 centimeter that can be made by melting and recasting the cone. Let us find the volume of the sphere at first. 
volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. If the radius is 1, so it can be written as 4 by 3 pi into 1 cube. 1 cube is 1, so it can be written as 4 by 3 pi. Now to find the number of spheres, we have to divide volume of the cone by volume of the sphere. So number of spheres equal to 324 pi by 4 pi by 3. Now division by a fraction equal to multiplication by its reciprocal. So it can be written as 324 pi into 3 by 4 pi. Now pi and pi can be cancelled. 4 and 324 can be simplified. 1 4 is 4 and 8 4 are 32 and 1 4 is 4. So 81 4 are 324. So we get 81 into 3 and multiplying we get 243. That means 243 spheres can be made by melting and recasting the cone.